All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. So yesterday, Season 2 released for Modern Warfare 3, and unfortunately, well, I guess it de depends how you look at it. Uh, fortunately, I wasn't forced to play this game, but anyway. Uh, yeah, Season 2 released, and they added a bunch of new stuff to Modern Warfare 3, so I thought I'd come on here and give you guys my first impression. I know they've added a new multiplayer map called Stash House. I'm just going to call it Mustache House. Fuck it. That's the new name, officially. Boom. Uh, also, they've added a bunch of other stuff. Uh, Battle Royale stuff. I don't really care about that stuff. I'll, I'll be honest with you guys. So, you guys won't be seeing that from me. But, yeah. I thought I would give you guys a first reaction of Stash House. See what happens. See if I like the, see if I like the map. So, here we go. Let's find the sweatiest match of all time. I am ready. Turns out they've also uh, kind of reduced the skill-based matchmaking, which I completely doubt it. Uh, yeah, this game was like 50 gigs for me to freaking download the new update. I don't know why it was 50 gigs. You know, people over there need to start freaking trimming down the, the freaking files, dude. That's just ridiculous. 50. I mean, I have the storage and all, but there's some people out there. How are you gonna spawn me right in front of the turn, bro? That don't make no sense. Holy crap, that was fucking loud. Holy shit. Alright, here we go. First impressions, first reactions. You guys already know what's up. We keep it real here. We pack in that steel as 8 thoughts would say. I mean, the ghost of 8. Here we go. Let's use this. What weapon is this? I haven't played this game in like weeks, so. Here we go. Oh, wow. Alright, so oh, that's the sentry gun over there. No! Oh, that's the sentry gun. Alright. Damn! You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of like Nuketown and where the hell am I? It reminds me of like Nuketown and I'm about to sneeze. Are we good? Raid from Black Ops Two. I guess the aesthetic. Bro, of it. literally the second I turn around, there's just somebody there. What the fuck are our teammates doing? Why are we losing this bad? Oh god. Holy shit, I just realized why are we losing that bad? <laughs> no way. I just realized the score. Yo, we're 8 to 140. <laughs> Oh yeah, I keep running into like three fucking niggas at once. I'm saying what? I'm just gonna camp back here, bro. Never mind enemies. I'm not gonna go over there and explore now. Reloading. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what the hell that was. Wow. I don't know what the heck that was. Well, here we go with the. Ah, this nigga in front of me, bro. And this SMH dead, dead me, bro. This nigga is shitting on me, bro. Get wrecked.
God damn it. Damn. Holy fuck, we got our ass whipped. Oh, we got a friendly VTOL. No fucking way yeah, I got to turn on me like that, bro. Nah, I'll tax. There's the the no team. way. I just got someone with a random nade. Oh, yeah, this is so hell. Bro, why come we're not capturing any of that? That's the, that's the problem. I blame my yeah, team. I, I joined the I game late, so I, I don't, I don't take. Like the I'm not taking full responsibility for our loss. Nah, no, I fuck with it. This is all about what it's all the spawn you get. I'm also using a gun with no attachments, so that doesn't help. And every time I walk, everyone's using that new gun. They better a new gun. Hell yeah, they are. Is the new gun really like that? But I was. <laughs> God damn, what the fuck is he using? He's using a fucking marksman rifle. Oh, wait, negative. Oh, wait, negative. So first game, first impressions, the map is alright, I guess. What the hell? I did not do well. This guy playing outside, <laughs> holy shit, man. Is that rain? What is that? Damn. Um... I don't know, man. The map is all right, I guess. Uh, it's like combination of raid and nuketown, except you don't have that second house, and it's just condensed into one house. The aesthetics is like raid, gives that luxurious mansion look. Um, we'll play one more game here and see how it works, how it plays, and all that stuff. So, yeah, why not, right? You know, speaking of uh. Stuff that doesn't work. Well, stuff that does work. Probably eventually won't. There seems to be a lot of news regarding Xbox and their future of uh, physical media and just games and IPs or whatever. All that stuff. Going multi-platform. So, for example, imagine Halo on PlayStation. That'd be crazy. That would be crazy. And then some people are just taking this way too freaking seriously. Um, yeah, I, I don't know how I feel about it. Basically, at, at the end of the day, man, I don't really... I know many people don't have the uh, funds to have multiple consoles in their house. I, I completely understand that. And I can see why people would get butthurt to see that why their favorite games are on this other piece of plastic. This is OP. I think I'm getting sick again. That's bullshit. Probably my allergies, allergies though. Look at this creep. Wow. Yeah, spend that money, fool.
always has to be that one person, dude, that has to turn back around. What the hell is that? That just killed the stripper? What the hell was that? <laughs> what the hell was that? What the heck was that, dude? <laughs> that guy just ran away. Oh, I killed the stripper again. What the hell? Oh, it's a superhero, I guess. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just. It's a stripper. <laughs> it's the stripper, bro. There she is again. Oh no, I'm killing the strippers. <laughs> That's the official new name to that skin. The stripper skin. The SS. Oh, I forgot we're playing Hardpoint. I completely forgot. Oh, wow. I did not see that person there. Why? Oh, yeah. Someone randomly just behind him. There's a stripper. I'm just gonna say she's the stripper skin. Got him. Oh wow. Oh yeah. Well, that one person always tries to be a hero, bro. No one likes a hero, bro. Teammate. Why, dude, that revenge spawn, bro, it goes crazy, man. Why did I just call this in the middle of the battlefield? That is a small ass map. I'm sure that was a double kill. Someone back here. Changing max. Taking effective fire. The hell? Get off of me, dog. What the f frick? Wow, great spawn. What the heck? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Oh, damn. 
Dude just freaking destroyed me with that knife. Damn, I'm blind as shit. I can't... I don't know what the hell's going on. The stripper! <laughs> the stripper. What the hell? This guy fucking sneaky snake bastard. What the? Oh, that's a nice bike. Oh, that's a great spawn. I'm surprised they survived that crap. One, one, requesting recon at this time. I'm hit. Damn, direct hit too. Enemy UAV active. The stripper! Got him. Get wrecked, stripper! <laughs> <laughs> oh, let that be the kill cam. I think I had a little bit too too much fun there, but I think the map. Uh, I don't know, man. I think uh, that was too. Uh... Oh yeah, let's go. I got the last kill there. Um, if I had to rate it. I'll give it an 8 out of 10. It was a decent map. So whoever made this map over there at Sledgehammer Games, whoever's left over there, the skeleton crew, give them a raise. Keep them around. We need some people to actually know how to make some good maps. So whoever, the people that were responsible to make this map, good job. Incredible. That's what I like to see. Uh, I think that's really about it, folks. Um, 8 out of 10 on the map. And then, you know, with Xbox and stuff like that, they're moving stuff around, whatever. We're going to have to find out what's going on with that next week. This upcoming next week. Uh, supposedly there's going to be like a big old, like, I guess video. Not a video, probably like a report or some sort of like announcement. There we go. Announcement of regarding all that stuff. And, oh yeah, and like I was saying earlier, people are taking this way too seriously. I think I saw a video of this one guy crying on Twitter. And, uh... I didn't really leave a comment or anything. I didn't really engage with the video other than just watch it. And, dude, calm down. Who cares? I get it. You know, you want to play your favorite games on your favorite console, but... I think what really sells a console is the exclusivity. For example, with uh, Spider-Man, right? Spider-Man 2 right now is still available on the PlayStation 5, exclusively on the PlayStation 5. And... Oh, it's the, this, this is the skin. Firecracker. <laughs> this is the stripper skin I was talking about. <laughs> That's like the first thing that came to mind. I don't know why. But, <laughs> uh, like for example, with uh, Spider-Man 2, uh, it's still exclusive, it's still exclusive to the PlayStation 5, and eventually they will add it to PC, who knows when? A year from now, two years from now. You just have to be patient for it, for it to come out on PC. But that's what basically makes it exclusive to the console, right? But with Xbox, they tend to release games both on PlayStation, both on Xbox and PC at the same time, and which basically people most likely go to PC and buy that game off there instead of buying it on the Xbox. There's no point, right? Now. A good example of this would be like if they were to sell Halo, right? Let's say the next Halo comes out, and they were just to keep it on the Xbox for let's say six months, right? First, exclusively on the Xbox first for the next six months or maybe a year, who knows? Obviously, you're gonna sell a lot of units, right? You're gonna sell a lot of hardware, and that's good. That's good for business. 
But considering Microsoft, they got trillions and trillions of dollars at this point. I don't think they're really taking a loss. If anything, I wish they could like deposit some of those funds into my bank account. Not gonna lie. I'm trying to find this like free bundle. When the hell is it? I'm, like struggling to find this damn free bundle. I wanna know what I got. Where's my free bundle at? It's a complete lie. Am I tripping balls? Like, where in the hell is it? I, I don't see it at all, guys. Do you guys see it? Let's see. Free... Yeah, I don't see it at all. What a scam. Anywho, uh, yeah, that's how I feel about it. It is what it is, but we'll find we'll find out next week. More announcements, some more news on that stuff regarding Xbox's future on IPs and overall all that good stuff. Um, and if they were to like change the way that you're able to like to collect games and stuff. You guys know I have a big old Xbox collection, and physical media for me is like a big uh, thing for me. I like collecting physical media, and considering that many games now on Xbox don't really technically have like the first build of the game on the disc itself. As for example, with, with Spider-Man 2 again, you can actually play the game offline. You don't have to download it. You don't need an internet connection. You can literally play the game off that disc at least a 1.0 build and uh yeah you can play no no issues whatsoever but with many of these xbox games many of them only have like maybe 30 percent of the game on there probably even less who knows basically it's just like a it's like a key they can access and you're you're literally just playing the game off the digital store at that point because many of these discs are just useless so that just sucks and I get it, you know, change and odd stuff, technology, you know what I mean? It is what it is, but it's just, uh, it's a sad reality, you know what I mean? Of it just going away, because eventually I'm just gonna have to stop buying these, uh, cases and stuff, the games themselves, and it's gonna suck. Uh, anyways, I, I know I went on a big old rant there, but hope you guys enjoyed the video, and, uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next one. You guys take care. Uh, happy Thursday. Later.